Yes, welcome back once again to Necropara Volume 3. My name is Sutton the Wolf, and that intro is weird, but I'm keeping it, because why not? Welcome back, everyone. It has been a little bit of time for me since I played Necropara. I've been dealing with a lot of other things right now. Um, but I'm finally able to get back to recording, and so, I mean, I, I always give you guys these updates, but it's not like it really matters, because you guys just see the videos at the same time anyway. So I don't know why I even bother, but whatever. I've been dealing with some other stuff lately, and so I've been having issues trying to find time to record, but I finally got some time, and so I'm going to record some Nekopara and maybe some other stuff, but don't expect anything to really change, because, I mean, why would it? So, we're back in Nekopara. I remember vaguely that Mapodo stayed at our house um, the last... Or the equivalent of last night. Um, and she was just practicing with her guitar all the time. Um, which I actually wasn't big on. Just I, I went in I went into it last time about saying um, how your brain doesn't remember as much whenever you try to cram stuff in there. And so she wasn't necessarily doing proper practicing methods, I thought. But regardless, we're going to see if that actually has any effect. Or if we're even going to talk about it today. Because it looks like we've got uh, another scene inside the store. So here we go. Welcome! Table for two, right this way! Chocolate and Bonnie are back, that's good. Is this for takeout? Or will you be dining in? Here are your menus. Please, take your time. Oh, I missed all of you. <laughs> ah, hold a minute. Grab me some awesome tea for the cake set, will ya? Okay, coming right up. Maple and Echa. Is this enough to refill the leaves for the black tea? Oh, that's perfect, thanks. Put the refill over here when you're done. Oh, it's good to see that she's back in high spirits. You're totally back to normal, huh, Maple? I look out at the store through the window that separates the kitchen from the lobby. Yes, yeah, she's completely healthy again. That's good. Lately, she's been spending all of her time at home happily practicing on that guitar. I'm glad that she stayed at the store. Um, I was worried that she was not going to have any time to uh, be in the store and have to have like a, a time where she's either quitting or she's like, I, I don't know, having some other kind of issue. I was afraid that that was going to happen. But it looks like she's just keeping her part-time job, so that's good. Seems like she's enjoying every day to the fullest. It's all thanks to you, isn't it, Kasho-san? Ah, Shinamon, you did a lot too, to be honest. Like... I don't pet Cinnamon enough. She's been really cute in this game so far. I told you it's not. We continue the conversation we've had many times. Meanwhile, Cinnamon beats a bowl of whipped cream with a hand mixer. Uh, ouchie. Uh, what's wrong, Cinnamon? Uh, nothing. Nothing to worry about. Oh, what did you do? Did you, like, secretly try to practice something? Uh, anyway, Mei-chan has gotten pretty good. Oh, yeah? Before I'd take her some time before she was able to play one note after another. Maple Do is all you really talk about, huh? <laughs> yep, you're right. It's because I love Mei-chan. Yeah, Maple Do and Cinnamon are really, really close, and I like seeing that. It, It's not the same kind of, they touched on this, but it's not the same kind of relationship as Chokoda and Vanida, where they just kind of cling to each other, or with uh, Azuki and, and uh, Coconut Silver. So it's like one clearly admires the other, and the other is like a role model of some sort. Like, Maple and Cinnamon really are like best friends. It's really refreshing to see. The vibrations of the mixer knock a wooden spoon to the floor. Uh, so, sorry, I'll wash it right away. What did you do to yourself, Cinnamon? Why are you so injured? Uh, Oi, Cinnamon. What's wrong? Are you okay? Cinnamon crouches on the ground, clutching her chest, and I rush over to her. Uh, I'm okay. Like I said, it's nothing. Jeez, Cinnamon, what is up with you? You dummy, you definitely aren't okay. What's wrong? Where does it hurt? Uh, uh, no, hurt? Uh, I guess it does hurt, but... Oh, come on, spill it. What? Uh, no, um... What's up? What is wrong with you, Cinnamon? Oh. Huh. My... my bra is too tight. That is not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like, she accidentally cut herself with something, or like, she was- she hurt her fingers trying to practice something, or like, 
I don't know, maybe she strained something. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, that is too perfect. That is the exact, like, turn, that is the exact um, reaction that I have to that kind of thing. And just the fact that it did the, the ticking of the clock with the ding, that is too perfect. Like, every time a situation like this comes up in real life, that is the exact thing that's, like, that would be occurring if if there were, like, special effects or whatnot in real life. That would be perfect for me. Oh, man. Your bra? Uh, hi. Yeah. Uh, so it's just that whenever I move, it squeezes me. But my body's okay, so don't worry. Oh, is that all that is? I suddenly feel worn out. When she squatted down and clutching her chest like that, a thousand terrible possibilities flashed through my mind. Yeah, like, a small part of me thought she was gonna have, like, a heart problem or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, I'm glad that it's, like, not something too serious. I take a deep breath and straighten myself out. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> she good buys those for you, doesn't she? If they don't fit, you should let her know. Uh, I suppose so, but... My size has changed... My size has changed, I guess. My size has changed so often, and I don't want to be a bother to Shigure. So it's gotten to that point, huh? Don't just stare at them! What the fuck, man? Oh my god. Wow. Jeez, game, that's shameless. That is shameless fan service right there. Come on. Cat girls do grow quickly, but she's growing faster than most. Without realizing it, I focus on Cinnamon's bouncing chest. Stop it! No. Bad. Wrong. I can't look at her like that. <laughs> bad. I smack myself on the head. <sighs> Still, uh, it's something you need. Even if you try to make do, you're gonna need to make... Uh, you're gonna need a, a new one eventually, right? Ugh. <laughs> now I'm flustered. Plus, if it's seriously making your daily life that hard. Besides, there are ones that are really that aren't really that expensive, aren't there? But isn't something that's wait? But isn't a bra something that's supposed to accentuate a girl's boobies? I am not qualified to answer that question, nor do I actually know the answer. By all means, someone can tell me. But uh, my interpretation was that bras were just supposed to uh, make it more comfortable, and so that it's not like. I also thought it was like partly so that girls, like if a girl wears like a shirt that's kind of tight fitting that it doesn't like show her nipples or something. I don't know, because I thought that, I don't know. I always heard that girls found that embarrassing. I don't know, I am not knowledgeable on this topic. Please correct me because I am probably wrong. Cheap bras aren't going to be very cute. Well, I appreciate your, your desire to look cute, but I mean, if it's hurting you, then that's a problem. Eh? Uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, I'm pretty big, aren't I? <laughs> you don't need to fling your chest at me as you say that. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a little bit big, you know. Ah. <laughs> That's not necessary. We all know it, Cinnamon. A bra that doesn't fit is going to be tight, and it really, it'll really squeeze me, won't it? So I don't really want to wear a cheap one if I don't have to. <laughs> hmm. You're determined, and I like that, but... <laughs> Not sure who should be determined on this kind of thing. I get it. <laughs> I don't know what to say to Cinnamon, who's speaking so authoritatively on the subject of bras and breasts. She's pretty proud of her chest, isn't she? <laughs> well, it's not like I can really touch on it, after all. Uh, the subject, I mean. <laughs> I'll give you some money, then, so go out and buy a new one, please. <laughs> eh? No, you can't do that. It's fine. You've done more than enough to deserve it. I bought a guitar for Maple Dew, after all. I can't just pretend to not notice that you're in pain. Uh, uh, if that's the case, if you were to order me to keep wearing tight bras, <laughs> I just offered to get you a better one. Why would I? Why would I order you to wear tight ones? That's not. That's not the direction we were going in, Cena One. Eh? If you wanted to play around like that, I might start liking the squeeze of a tight one. Uh, okay. 
Let's just move on. In that case, I think we'd end up with a win-win situation. Yeah, let's move on. Go buy a new bra. I bopped Sinamon, who's begun to pant heavily on the head. Oh, I love it. What kind of playing is that? Sinamon sure doesn't try to hide her true self. So how does the next day out sound? I want to make a point real quick. I feel They keep saying that Sinamon never changes and that she's like just showing her true side all the time. I'm getting, I'm starting to get the impression that that's foreshadowing for something like the opposite, where we're gonna find out that her true self isn't like that. Like, I feel like she's gonna be the kind of character that turns out to be someone who's really overly perverted all the time, but when it comes down to it, she's really terrified of that kind of thing. Like, I feel like that's the direction that it's going, because it just keeps mentioning over and over and over again about how she apparently never changes or how she's always her being her true self. I feel like that's foreshadowing for sub something saying that she's not being herself. I don't know. That Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that's just the impression I'm getting. No, you should go and buy it as soon as possible. Uh, oh no, that's not what I meant. Eh? It's not? You're going to go with me, aren't you? Oh god, we have to go bra shopping with Cinnamon? Oh god. What? What? I don't really think I need to be there for you to buy a bra. Eh? I might be a bell holding cat girl, but it's not right for a cat girl, a cat girl to go into some stores alone. There are stores where a cat girl has to have her own or guardian with her to go in, you know? Is that true? Seriously? I didn't think there was a rule like that. Though I think I have heard of stores like that. Maybe for places that sell high-class clothing to proper or proper underwear. But I don't really feel like I can ask Shigure about that sort of thing. You are going to buy me a bra, aren't you? Oh my god. I... <laughs> I don't know about that scene, I'm on. That's, uh, I mean, yeah, th this is, this is true, but, uh, I'm not entirely sure about that scene of one. Though I could keep going like this if you really wanted me to. Alright, now that's just blackmail. Got it. So now I have plans for next, for my next day off. I am to go bra shopping with Cinnamon. <laughs> Well, all right then. That's gonna be interesting. But regardless, that's gonna have to wait for next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I will always read them and I will always take them into account. And as always, I will see you guys next time for another episode of Nekopara Volume 3.